Hi everyone, welcome to Python Osmosis, episode 23, the screencast where we learn the loopy ways of Python. I'm Ryan Shea, and in this episode we'll be talking about looping techniques. So we just talked about dictionaries. One of the great ways of looping through a dictionary is using a method called iteritems. Let's create a new dictionary. Knights equals, again, curly brace for a dictionary. The knight's name is Galahad, colon, the pure, comma, Robin, colon, the brave. Okay, so now we have a dictionary of our knights for k, comma, v, key value, in knights.iteritems. So iteritems returns key value pairs, and it unpacks those into k and v in this case. Print k, v. And you see, Galahad the pure, Robin the brave. This is easier than just using the keys function, because then you have to extract out the value if you need that. So all in one sweep, you can just use iteritems by far the most common way that I loop through a dictionary. You can do this similarly with a numerically indexed list, like a, like a list. Uh, so for i, v, in, enumerate, and let's create a list here. Uh, tick, tack, toe. All right, so enumerate is going to return the, the iterator and the value for each item in this list that we've created. This is a little bit easier than in C or uh, even in Perl where you'd say uh, for i in i is less than length of the list uh, to get the, to get the uh, iterator, you just use enumerate. And we say print I, V, and 0, 1, 2, tic-tac-toe. You can actually loop over two or more sequences at the same time uh, with the zip function. So let's take a look. Questions, we'll make a list here. Name, quest, favorite color and answers Lancelot's the name the Holy Grail is the quest and blue is the favorite color so for Q A in zip questions, answers. So what this will do is zip takes two different sequences, in this case these are lists, and it returns uh, it returns a tuple. We're unpacking that tuple into the values Q and A. So basically it just takes two lists and it glues them together and we're exploding out those glued together lists. And print what is your, this is a formatted string representation, zero curly braces, question mark, it is, this is an alternative to a printf or just the formatted print that comes built into Python, dot, so we take that string, dot, format, q, a, what we got from the, the zip, what is your name? What is your quest? What is your favorite color? And you see that it, it properly glued the questions and answers together and exploded those out into these this print statement that we have here. Another interesting function is for i in reversed Okay, what this will do, X range is actually a slightly faster on-demand uh, version of the range function, and reversed 
we send the, the result of x range, this list, through to reversed, and what reversed will do is, you guessed it, it'll reverse the list, and then we're taking that reversed list and we're looping through that, setting i as the iterator. Uh, print i, and as you guess, we have a reversed list, 9, 7, 5, 3, 1. So from 1 to 10, going, uh, going by 2s. Sorted is another interesting function that's built into Python. Let's take a look. Basket equals, let's make a list. We've seen this before. Apple, orange, apple, pear, banana. Okay, we have that list. For f in, we call the sorted function, and sorted is going to sort what we send to it. In this case, we're going to send it a set. If you remember, a set doesn't have a, a guaranteed order to how it returns its items. So we're going to sort out the set basket, and we're going to assign the iterator f. So for f in sorted set basket, print f, and this is going to print for us a sorted list of the items in the basket. That's all for now. This screencast is directly inspired by the official Python tutorial by Guido Van Rossum at python.org.